Typically, Croatia didn't start the season well. Consistency was not reached until the team was in the home stretch of the championship. And midway through the year, they were as low as 10th place on the table. In this opening game, a debacle against Sydney Olympic on this very ground, they went down 3-0. Abassad, it's there by Moni Chabot, it's past him, still Abassad right across the face, a goal palmed away, Martinez, Sydney Olympic take the lead, two minutes into the second half. for Alan Hunter and the best of balls forward Tom Partida's there he's in there quickly and this is Abassad faced only now by Tony Franken Abassad it's 3-0 Abassad Croatia soon regrouped and that loss was followed by wins against Sunshine and Preston before this memorable 4-2 win over champions Apia, including Robbie Slater's first goal of the season. Yes, Terry claiming he got the ball first there. The replay might prove he was right. I would agree with that. Slater now with the free kick. Oh no! Graham Arnold! Croatia take the lead! from really uh, controversial decisions. Bad back pass and here's Slater. Slater! Robbie Slater who scored on Wednesday night scores again here tonight after 36 minutes. It's getting more younger people to our games. Now Mark Jones sliding that one through. Ingham! Ingham! Another defensive mistake. The Croatian fans celebrate. Sean Ingham, his first But then, goal. disaster again. Soon after further points were added with this 1-0 win over Adelaide City, came a 4-0 loss with a depleted side to Brisbane Lions, and two weeks later, Footscray's Oscar Krino and Goce Dimovski sank Croatia 3-0, sending them to ninth position, and a week later, even worse, a 3-1 home loss to South Melbourne brought their all-time low. Just chipping that one inside, looking there for Trimboli. Here's Postacoglu, and there's the equaliser for Angelo Postacoglu. Uh, Danny Wright. Away from Tony Franken. Wright. 2-1 to South Melbourne. Yeah. Well to keep that one in now. Danny Wright. Salakis completely available on that far side. This is Peter Salakis cutting that one back in. Postacoglu. Amid whispers that coach Vedra Rožić might get the sack, there was a recovery with the first meeting against the eventual grand final opponents Marconi, then out of the blue came three crucial wins on the trot. There were wins against St George, against Olympic, and then the deadly trio of Lamond, Arnold and Slater tore Wollongong apart. Arnold, one down into the path of Robbie Slater. Manis Lamond, he keeps the record up. Manis Lamont breaks the deadlock after five minutes. And whipping this one across, Skeen, this is it. Arnold, Arnold, 2 0. Manis Lamont, now Petkovic, sliding that one through. Arnold on the turn. Now Slater, Slater. That kept Croatia in the top five for good. And four weeks later came a grand exhibition in Adelaide in which Croatia not only displayed their skill, but also their courage. They were 2-1 down and almost out before two final goals in the last three minutes by Lamond and Arnold brought them a 3-2 victory. Way by Alex Tobin. Rezo. Way this time by Flounders. Only as far though as Manis Lamond. Still Lamond. Lamond with the shot. season we've gone out to entertain this good sized crowd as Krislovic plays that one in and there's Arnold and it could be two points now for Sydney Croatia Graham Arnold scores with less than 60 seconds to go in all there were seven occasions on which Croatia scored three goals or more in a match and the last of those came significantly in a 3-2 victory in round 24 against Marconi Certainly there, he was tripped, and a penalty's given. So Hunter.
Hunter. 1 0. Clinch. Clinch playing that one through now. Rezzo. And he might break now for Robbie Slater. Still Slater. Slater. Robbie Slater. So this corner now to be taken by Robbie Slater. Arnold misses it. And it's an own goal. Croatia was then poised to finish on top of the league, but blew it when it could only draw with the gritty Wollongong in the final round, and that only in the nick of time. But Croatia does know how to recover, and another good show came against South Melbourne in their first semi-final, a 2-1 victory which put them in against minor premiers Wollongong. And there the team from the Steel City gave as much iron as they got, and Croatia could only beat them on penalties. But with it, they were in their first ever grand final, on the doorstep of their first ever league championship.